from Traverse Bay Crochet and today we're going to be making this beautiful elegant faux fur head warmer. It has a lot of texture and really cute faux fur detail and it just looks really nice and cozy and pretty on. So let's get started. For this pattern we'll be using a medium worsted weight yarn. I'm going to use Yarn Bee and Breathe Deep Ivory. And this is a really soft polyester yarn. It's very comfortable. But any medium worsted weight yarn will be fine. And then I'm also going to use Lion Brand Go for Faux. Uh, it's a really pretty faux fur that gives the headband such great detail. And I will also be using a size H 5mm crochet hook. And then, of course, I just have... Um, a sewing needle, a blunt needle, some scissors, and then a pretty button to sew on at the end. And some threading floss for sewing our button on. Alright, so let's begin. To start we're going to take our ivory yarn and we're going to chain 15. Now we're going to double crochet in the third chain from the hook and each of the remaining chains. Now we're going to chain one and turn our work and we're going to single crochet into the first stitch and front post double crochet around the next. single crochet into the next stitch and front post double crochet around the next. And we're just going to keep working these two stitches in this way all the way to the end. Now we're going to chain one, turn our work, and for row three we're going to single crochet into each stitch across. For row 4, we're going to chain 1, turn our work, single crochet into the first stitch, and then front post double crochet around the posts that we made from row 2, and single crochet into the next, and front post double crochet around the next post. We're going to just work in this way all the way to the end of this row. Chain one. And for the next row, we're going to again single crochet all the way down this row. And now we're going to chain one, turn again, and again single crochet into the first stitch, front post double crochet around the post, single crochet, front post double crochet, and so we're just going to repeat this to the end. You can see that it's starting to make this beautiful textured pattern and you're just going to alternate those rows of a front post, single crochet, front post, single crochet, and then on the way back just a single crochet across the row. So just keep repeating this pattern until your piece measures 21 inches. So now that our piece is measured 21 inches, we're just going to fasten off and weave in our ends and then grab your faux fur yarn. Now with your faux fur, we're just going to pick up a stitch anywhere along the edge that you'd like. I'm just going to go in the corner here and Pick up a stitch and chain one, 
and then we're going to single crochet evenly around the entire piece with two single crochets into each corner. And to get started, I'm going to single crochet over this end here. That will just hold it in place. And there isn't an exact number of single crochets around, it is just to make them even. And you just can see that it works up and is so forgiving that you can really just work all the way around it and you're not going to see those individual stitches. Okay, so continue to do this and I will meet you back. So now we've made it all the way around and we're just going to slip stitch into our first stitch and just kind of feel that out because it is hard to see and then we're going to fasten off and weave in this end. So to start making our twist, we're going to make sure that our right side up is facing, so the part with our pretty pattern, and we're going to fold each side inward, and then we're just going to put fold each side over like this end and this end and make like a little sandwich. And now very carefully we're going to sew through all of the sides. We're going to sew through all sides and make sure to get it well at the ends here. And just for good measure, we're going to go all the way back down, make sure we get it. Okay, and just make sure you get it nice and good, and we'll secure that and then fasten off and again this yarn is so forgiving so you can just kind of weave in and out and you won't be able to tell where you did and we're going to make sure to weave in this other end also We weaved in our other end and fastened that off, and now this is where the magic happens, and we just fold it inside out, all right, just like that, and now we have this pretty fur lining that comes together here in the middle, and this is where you can sew on a pretty button right there in the middle and have a beautiful elegant headband. And there you have your elegant faux fur crochet headband. Um, I just put on a pretty button in the middle and sewed that on. You can leave it as is or if you want a little more fur around the button you can just cut a piece of your yarn and sew around it with a blunt needle so this is super simple and just gives it a little more fur if you like and who doesn't love faux fur and I'm just going around the button some more you might have to go around you know, a couple, two or three times just so you get the faux fur how you like it. You have to push a little hard to get it in there. There we go. And there we are. And I'm just going to fasten it off on the back and weave in my ends. 
And there you have the elegant faux fur headband. I also have the video for the matching fingerless mitten faux fur fingerless mittens posted if you would like to take a look at that as well and make a matching set. Please like and subscribe to my channel for more free patterns and have a great day.